Hi guys, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. We're here to do part three of the Beauty of Horror, The Shining Girls. So I'm going to do the ceiling and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some brown and yellowy stains on the ceiling. Avoid this bit which would have been, would be a white thing. So we're not going to put a lot on because we don't want it to be too much. We're looking for some almost like water stains. Um, yeah, excuse my hand in the way. So if you can hear music in the background, that's fine. It's just a little bit of um, listen to some Judy Garland. I've got her on YouTube. So we went to see the film. Judy with Renee Zwelliger today and um, yeah I really enjoyed it I thought it was very good I thought Renee did a brilliant job with the material and uh, yeah I really I'm gonna put a little bit of staining on the ceiling just there Yeah, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. It was very draining, very, very emotional um, because of the, the nature of it, I guess. It was, you know, but I did enjoy it. I thought it was very good, very good. So we're just going to put some stains on the ceiling like that. So you probably really can't see it, it's very light. Just zoom it in so you might be able to see this better. So. So yeah, so <clears throat> we dropped Jennifer at Nana and Grandad's. So they looked after her so we could go out to the cinema. And it's not very often we go out on our own so it's really nice to really nice to get out and see a movie and do a bit of a bit of shopping so a bit more a bit more dark on so yeah it's just a little bit of water staining on the ceiling so that it looks a bit older. <clears throat> so yeah, I know there's a lot of the die-hard Judy fans who aren't happy about the movie <clears throat> because there is a lot of inaccurate yes there is I mean it's not 100% accurate and biopics never are as a Marilyn fan I've sat through some dire Marilyn um, biopics in my time and we just learn to bite our tongue and hope that it brings a new generation of fans to the talent of that person, like Judy Garland, and the hopefully that group of fans will find their own way and start trying to learn about what actually happened in those few months prior to her death when she appeared at Talk of the Town in London. So. So you can't really see a lot. It just looks like there's some water staining on the ceiling. It's quite, that'll do. So now we're gonna do the woodwork and the doors. I 
Um, just put it on so you can actually see what I'm doing. I'm not doing very well on this, this at the moment. Zoom it out so it's a bit better. There we are. So, yeah, I mean, I like listening to Judy Garland and I love listening to music in general. So I hope it's not too loud and I might turn it off in a minute, but... So the, if you're interested in the channel, this is called The Judy Room. Just in time. Only life. So Jennifer had a lovely time at her Nana's anyway and Grandad. And when we got back, she was absolutely shattered. So she had a good lie down and asleep, and then she didn't want to get up and have a tea. But she did. And uh, yeah, so she got up and had her tea. Played for a bit, and then obviously she's gone to bed now. It's getting on, it's getting on for 10 o'clock. Go and turn this down, I think. So yes, I did really enjoy the film, and I would advise anybody who is interested in Garland to go and watch it. Take it with a pinch of salt because it is only a biopic. It's not 100% accurate. This sort of film is never going to be 100% accurate but it was enjoyable. I really did enjoy it so I would, I would say go and see it and make up your own mind because like I said if, as, as far as I'm concerned if it brings new fans to Judy then it's going to be fine I mean if people are genuinely interested in her they'll go and find out for themselves So one of the things I'm thinking of doing is doing a video of my very small Judy Garland collection. It's mostly books and CDs. There are some DVDs, records. And um, yeah, I, mean, I love the films. I've got some magazines, but not many, and some clip-ins. But it's mostly books, films, CDs, DVDs, that sort of stuff. And. Uh, Yeah, so. But, um, yeah, I mean, I've liked Judy Garner since I was a teenager. So probably from around the same time as I started collecting Marilyn, I was into Judy. In fact, I was a member of the Judy Garland Fan Club, or the Judy Garland Club as it's called, long before I found a Marilyn Club to join. I mean, we've all watched, well, I hope we've all watched The Wizard of Oz and enjoyed the movie. Because she... Uh, amazing in that as a young girl but she did so much more than just the Wizard of Oz she was more than Dorothy and there were some very very moving moments in the film that I really enjoyed there's a scene where she's with this gay couple who basically bought tickets for every night of her show and she's talking to them after the show and she's feeling lonely 
and she says, do you want to get some dinner? So they try and find somewhere to eat, but it's after midnight and everywhere's closed. It's not like today where you can still find places to eat after midnight in London. So in the end, they go back to, she goes back to their apartment or their flat. And they, they talk and they tell her how difficult it was being gay in those times and how one of them's gone to sleep on the sofa and she's chatting with the other and he says how he's gone to jail for obscenity but since that time they changed the law and it turns out that he didn't do anything wrong who knew you know and she says how terrible it was to screw him and all that and he starts to he's, he's singing he's playing the piano and she's singing get happy and he he starts to cry and she just puts her arms around him and holds him and it's just so moving and it's just one human being reacting to another and it's just so powerful. That bit is just so, so powerful that I just, oh, it, it doesn't matter that that probably never really happened. But it shows the garland who cared about people, who cared about human, and she did. She was a very caring human being and that people forget that she was a human being and she did have feelings and emotions and that she hurt too so a lot of people are actually liking it more than they thought they would and are surprised that they are actually enjoying it and like I said it's not 100% accurate but do you know what? It's it's just a movie. You could buy a book and read just as many untruths. So, like I said, hopefully it'll encourage younger people who see the film to go and find out who Judy Garland was. the real person behind the gingham, blue and white gingham pinafore. The artist, the woman, the mother. That's all we can hope for as fans. So yeah, I had a nice time, nice to go to the cinema, I haven't been to the cinema for a long time, can't even remember what the last film I saw at the cinema was. It's very, very expensive, so it was like just over £20 for the tickets for two of us, it was a £10 something each, and then it was £9 for a large Diet Pepsi and a large bag of point popcorn. And yeah, I shouldn't be spending money on that, but I like to have popcorn. To me it's part of the thing, I, to me going to the movies is still special. Like it was back in the day, to me, it's still a very, very special uh, thing going to the movies. It's an event. We didn't do it that often, because we couldn't afford to. But when we do it, it it's nice. It's, it's enjoyable and... More colour there because there's not a lot on that little strip there. But you know, I, I like the movies, and I mean, I'd love to see The Wizard of Oz on the big screen. I'd love to see any Garland movie on a big screen. I've only ever seen two classic films on the big screen, and that's Gone with the Wind. A few years ago, I saw Gone with the Wind at uh, Spitty 
uh, Cine World. And so I'm like it hot. Many years ago, saw that art house cinema in London. I lived down uh, south. That was amazing. Um, it just seems so much funnier on a big screen. There's so much of the subtleties that you miss on a small screen that when you actually get to see it on a very big screen. The way it's meant to be seen. Oh my god, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to put a bit darker brown down here. Oh. I've got, there's actually been a few Garland books that have come out recently and I've got quite a few in my Amazon wish list for, um, I make a wish list and I give the uh, link to my brother at Christmas and for birthdays and he and my mum discuss what they're going to get me for Christmas and then they uh, Chris orders it and uh, they get me stuff off the list you, you know so sometimes it's records and sometimes it's books Oops. Um, but most and DVDs but mostly it's books and records so I don't think there's any records on there at the moment there's nothing I bothered about getting Mostly I buy records second hand, whoops, I ripped that, uh, um, from eBay. So, I'll go, every now and again I'll have a good look at eBay and I'll put a load of Judy albums, or albums in general, at the moment it's a load of Judy albums, into my watch list. And then every now and again I buy a few, I've got a load I need to show on my, uh, oops, final channel but I'm just not I'm not in a front facing camera mode at the moment I mean I've got a load of front facing videos to do for this channel as well because I've got some book reviews to do and I want to do them I just I feel that I should wear makeup And I just can't be bothered to put it on. It takes so long. And um, I should do it in the spare room. Now the spare room sorted out. And Jennifer's, you know, when Jennifer's having a nap. So I might do tomorrow or Monday. If I can. So I'm enjoying doing this, I think one more video after this and it'll be done, I think. I do, I think one more video after this because um, we've only got really the lamp shade, the curtains at the back, which I'm also going to do this red colour, um, the picture frames and the girls. So. It, we're not alone. We'll get as much of it done tonight as we can. Yeah, I quite like having music on in the background, but sometimes YouTube could be funny with their, um, uh, you know, copyright, which is fair enough. But these have been uploaded by um, another, you know, they're actually on YouTube, so I would assume they're all right. Have no idea. That's why I'm talking loudly over the top. <coughs> If it gets taken down, it gets taken down. They probably won't have any music on in the next one anyway, so you might just get to see part of four. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah, it's very odd. Very, very odd. World. I just don't 
do modern stars very much. I don't like them. I don't do celebrity. I don't watch a lot of TV that's on. I mean, I do watch some. Mostly British. I do watch American. I've been watching that FBI series. It's alright. It's nothing special. I enjoyed Warehouse 13 when I watched that. Um, I enjoyed obviously Holby and Casualty, which were British, which are British series, and of course I watched um, the Amazon Prime Good Omen. Now everybody was going on about how good Carnival Row was, and I, I thought, oh yeah, it sounds interesting. And I put it on. I just couldn't get on with it. But yeah, maybe I'll try again. I'm, I'm not gonna say never on that. I will try it again. Because the idea sounded interesting, but I don't know. I think I'm just one of those people who I don't get a lot of the modern stuff. I like crime dramas, I guess. I, like, I do like crime dramas, so. But I don't, you know, it's like when you go to the hairdresser and they say, Do you want a magazine? I'm like, No. I take a book. And it may be a fictional book. Sometimes it's a fictional book. Sometimes it's a factual book. It depends what I'm reading. Um, but I am not interested in reading about the so-called stars of Strictly Come Dancing. Uh, or, you know, they recently released The Dancing on Ice celebrities for next year's series of Dancing on Ice. I've heard of three of them. Uh, I think that's Trisha Goddard, H from Steps and Michael Barrymore. And that's it. I ain't heard of none of them. So to me, I'm like, really? Who is that? What have they done? So for me, I just don't don't see the point in it a lot of it. I like dancing on ice because I like ice skating. I've always liked ice skating. That stems back from watching Jane Torvald and Christopher Dean win the Olympics back in 1984 when I was 10. Yes, I'm that old, people. I am that old. I am that old. Um, and I, I did, I watched, and I can remember, I can remember it to this day, sitting there watching them win the Winter Olympic gold with Bolero. I can remember it. I thought it was amazing. I thought they were amazing and I wanted to go ice skating for a long time after that. It was a long time before I did for various family reasons but So, but yeah, so if I'm in the hairdressers, and I do have my hair done every six weeks, I don't read the magazines. I'm like, no, it's alright. I don't know who any of the people are. So I'll buy a magazine only if there's somebody I'm interested in. So if I can see that, for instance, um, Judy Garland's in the magazine or Marilyn. Maybe Elvis, if it's something I'm interested in, I might pick it up. But generally, I'm not interested in celebrities. Never watched The Only Way is Essex. Or any of these footballers' wives, or the real housewives of whatever. Never watched RuPaul's Drag Race, which I'm sure will amaze some people. Not because I wouldn't enjoy it, just because I just don't like being beholden to the TV set. I'd rather watch my um, YouTube videos than anything else. I do love my YouTube videos. Let's go. Let's 
through these curtains. And I'll probably go over those with the ink tents as well. Yeah, I'm more interested in old Hollywood stars and old Hollywood and stuff like that. I mean, and I am, and I like old movies. I watch stuff. But the oldest film I've ever seen was from 1918, and that was uh, Mabel Norman's Mickey. And it was a very good film. I really enjoyed it. So it was a silent movie, black and white. So everything that everybody hates about the movies today wouldn't want to see, oh it's black and white, oh there's no sound but it's very very good and obviously Rudolph Valentino he's very good too there we go. so this is how we're doing so far now we've got to find a colour for these picture frames so of course we've got a lot of yellow so I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this orange and I'm not even sure if it's a picture frame or a mirror because it's hard to see what's in them we will do them orange Hard to see what the picture is of, you see. I might put a darker colour over that just so that it's not so bright. So we're going to use this bright yellow. No, maybe not for the, the flame the light bulbs and it doesn't matter if it goes over them because obviously I'm still listening to that. Still off. But, um, so, I'm going to bed soon because it's late. But, so this, it, it really is very difficult for me to get to do colouring at any other time, you see. Because of Jennifer, um, obviously being a asleep put a bit of yellow over it as well I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing you can't it's off the screen I do apologize me I haven't flipped the screen out that's what the problem is I normally flip my screen out so I can see what I'm doing now I have at the end of the video be able to see what I'm doing at the end there's a couple more little bits I'm going to do before I finish and we've only really got the girls to go obviously we haven't done the light bulbs yet either Oh dear, I need to practice more. It's been, 
I just don't do enough of this anymore. Keep letting you down. So now we just need to so we, I mean there isn't really a cream, so it's hard to know what to do. Do we put a yellow over that? And then we'll go over it with the white and see if that'll just tone it down when this is for the light switches, which again I'm not showing you. So, yeah, you can't see all of it. So, there's only one little thing I'm going to do before we finish, and then we'll be doing the girls <clears throat> next video. We'll finish it off. And we'll do the girls. Mostly it's going to be different shades of blue. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with their skin yet. But we are going to do their shoes. So we're going to do them black. And we are just going to do them completely block black. which you can see, which is unusual for me. <clears throat> not the best video, I'm not going to lie. So I will try and do some more colour and catch up so you can hopefully see what I'm doing this month. <clears throat> like I said, I have got a few more. There's a little bit of red there that's missing, so I'm just going to go in, just in between there. And um, what we'll do is um, we'll finish this one off uh, on, in the next video. And once we finish this one off, we'll find something else to do. I haven't decided what yet. Um, but we will find something else to do. pretty sure their dresses were blue in the movie so that's what we're gonna do so we'll have a, a main sort of mid blue and then we'll have some light blue and a dark blue and uh, we'll have to figure out what we're gonna do with their um, skin I'm not worried about their shoes being messy like that that's fine So I'm going to zoom out and we'll have a look at it. There we are. So far, so good. We've done all of it apart from the girls. Now we've to put a bit of discoloration on the, the ceiling. It's not very deep. I might darken it. Um, and we just got their dresses and them to do. So we'll be doing various blues. And I'm not sure what to do with their skin. I do have different skin tones, but I'm trying to think. I might just use like a funny sort of greeny colour and mix it with some white and just make it look very, very gross. And so the legs probably would be the same or they would have socks on, but it doesn't look like they're wearing socks, but I think they were in the film. But that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed what you managed to see of me colouring in this video. So I do apologise I wasn't pointing the camera at it very much. Um, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, let me know um, down in the comments below. Don't forget to share and subscribe and tick the notification bell so that you're notified every time I do upload a colouring video or another video. Like I said, there will be, there will be some book reviews coming fairly soon. I might even try and film them the day after I filmed this one. So I will see you all soon. After excuse me, I'm very, very tired. And I'll see you all soon. So night, everybody. Bye.